The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. The secret organizations of the world power elite are no longer secret. It's known as the Bilderberg Group. Could their objective be world domination? Nation, nation, nation. of the night. Thank Woo! you for joining us for our next episode of Create Evil. I am your host, Dakota. This is my other co-host, Lance Morrow. We are what? here with the Sacred Owls tonight. It doesn't work on their filming here because they see seen me doing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, they can edit that. Our video and audio person, Karen Stevenson, is here tonight, what too. Oh, hi. Today in the studio, we'll be talking about phenomenons. And also, I was, I was thinking, phenomenon. I was like, do, 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 do. Okay. phenomenon. We're talking about phenomenon. 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 Oh. <laughs> what are they called? Teachers. That's what they <laughs> Full disclosure, we, we Whoa, smoked weed in deep. whatever state it's illegal, it's illegal in at the moment. <laughs> whoa, 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 it was medicinal. Totally no. medicinal. No, no, it was recreational, Shut but that's the point. Because if you get recreational, you get medical. <laughs> oh my god, why aren't you guys on the same page with this one? I mean, social. Recreational, dude. I, I don't understand these medical marijuana activists. They're like, guys, seriously, enough with the recreational. We're trying to get it for people with cancer. It's like, if we get it, you guys get it. So what the fuck? Wait, are you talking about the weed or the cancer? Because it's not cool. I don't want recreational cancer. I want some recreational cancer. That's well, weird. First I'm we kind of like a, 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 a weekend <laughs> cancer survivor. Or, I mean, I, I always thought it was they could lose weight by getting AIDS. And then Ooh. they had the cure for it. And then you get rid of it. See, this They're is wrong. how you go in one of those diamond spirals. All these spirals. bad guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, let's start out by uh, discovering who's talking right now. <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> Christian Coffins from the Sacred Owls. Hi. And uh, this is Ariel. Hi. <laughs> the drummer and vocalist from the Sacred Owls. Uh, what? Let's talk There's about no guys. the Sacred Owls. It's, 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 it's like Sacred Ramones, Owls. right? Yeah. There, you, you never see the Ramones. It, you know, people say the Ramones, but it's just Ramones. You know, Wait, are you if just you're in the know, yeah, I listen to Ramones. <laughs> I said it right, you know. Because <laughs> he's that kind of snow. I listen to Sex Pistols, not the. Oh, and if you hear this sound, it means we're sitting down our beers. That's right. <laughs> There's if, you hear that. Like, yeah. if you hear that, that that's gonna happen sometimes. So, sure. so yeah, this is. I'm excited. I love you guys. Next question. Go on. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the band and what you guys do during the show. This is our 10 year anniversary. Oh shit, really? Sacred Owls no, not was. For me. <laughs> no, no, that's true. I'm like super new. <laughs> she, she, was, she was like, you know, three when. I wasn't born then. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm just no that's, that's totally <laughs> wrong, and stop doing math because it's, it's a lie. Um, <laughs> but I always do math when I drink. You guys don't do that. <laughs> nerd. Like mathematics. Nerd. Nerd. 
No, um, but yeah, Sacred Elves was founded ten years ago in Miami. Uh, some friends of I of of mine and I, we were all political activists. You know, worked with Food Not Bombs. You know, this was before We Are Changed. This was before uh, you know. Uh, well, actually, shortly after 9/11. Uh, and stuff, and we we had an open source intelligence agency based out of a Miami called uh, Federal Jack. Uh, we actually uh, had a student organization at Florida International University, and so we were like really in the political game. We were uh, organizing um, protests and movie screenings and uh, galvanizing, uh, you know, the local community in information warfare and what that meant and why it's important and all those things. But at the same time, uh, in high school and stuff, I was in punk rock bands and, you know, part of that whole thing in Miami. And I figured it would be amazing and really fulfilling for myself as, as a person to, to marry those two things because a lot of the activist community and the political community were, were not punk rockers at all. Like, it was a lot of hip-hop, a lot of people that didn't really care about music, but they cared about the cause and this and that. And then uh, in, in, in the punk scene Same and stuff... Your motivation. Yeah, you know, and in, in, in the <laughs> punk scene, it was more like, uh, you know, yeah, we know everything's fucked up, but we're not going to research anything or look beyond that. We're just going to get drunk and do drugs and, and overdose. And uh, honestly, like, that's what I'll, I mean, like, three, four friends dying every, you know, fucking year, which, by the way... Orlando's catching up, so guys, put down the needles. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that. Like, For real? I'm sick of going to funerals. If you're a junkie, stop it. You know, like, seriously, oh, but, like, you know, you don't understand. It's hard. Like, I have no sympathy for junkies. Like, stop it. You and know, here's the thing. Like, I have a lot of much... friends that have been able to, you know, overcome it. And yeah, it's hard. Everything is, life is hard. You know, but like we need. If it was you. easy, everybody would do. You it. guys are smart and, and, and you're, you're thoughtful and you're wonderful. You and, like and we love you. It's kind of like and we need you. Okay, so. I mean, and the thing is, look, it's absolutely your body and it's absolutely your life, and you absolutely have the decision to do what you want with it. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like most of these people, that wasn't their intention. They they weren't. You know, people have their various reasons for doing the substances that they do. Yeah. But there's a pretty good chance they weren't just like. Yeah, this is my goal. Let's do you think, go for that. Do you think it's you know? brought about uh, from a uh, standpoint of like, hey, I need this to create, and I can't create without this, and if people don't want to hear me create, then I might as well be gone. Well, so they just do it until they can create, and then they can't create anymore. Uh, that, that, that's a good argument. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but like, I mean, for example, like, you know, I smoke pot on a regular, uh, like every day, you know, a little bit. And regular uh, every day. honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, it's not like, you know, I'm not like high. I'm not even like, I smoked like four hours ago. I'm like not high anymore. You know, here we are drinking beer. Well, what's the question area of the ideal of, of, of regularity? And then what's the idea of what's uh, an addiction? You mean everybody has yeah, their own you know, opinions and, and, and idea. I, I, you, you could true. say I'm fighting with you know because I'm not I, I don't think like weed is like addictive but people have addictive personality anything could be addictive biting right. nails is, addi is addictive uh, you know you name it whether it there's a chemical addiction involved in the thing you're doing or you just have a you're just prone to you know de doing but things. I, mean, I, think I, habits, think, I think every you know, addiction habit has forming. a downfall in whatever ideal you absolutely. Want. I mean, everything is yeah. a balance, but I also everything think is that, moderation. You know. You know? Further into your question, that there's a healthy amount yeah. of um, <laughs> wait, there's more of, <laughs> of people convincing themselves that that's what they need in order to be creative. Yes, and that's not necessarily so, the case. So leading right. to the next question, your guys is creativity during the show. You guys use visuals, you use lights, you use that stuff during the show. Like visuals, like physically, not like the drug, though. <laughs> Exactly. There's a drug called visuals. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, I can't yeah, even the, keep up the, with these kids nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drugs and the... But I mean, honestly, in the same idea of that, I mean, here's the thing about it is, is what's an addiction? I mean, you see Kiss, they can't even do a show without makeup because no one likes them for it. You, they have to have the makeup or no one wants to fucking see them. So if you guys get if you guys like, radio here, TV and your lights, would it be the same show if you guys just play music? It's yeah. true because like, sometimes, true. like... You know, there's been times where, like, we were, like, really rushed and this and that, and we, you know, one time we went to the Stranded Sailor Pub, and everything was great, we had everything we needed, we forgot the thumb drive that goes into the Roku, so therefore, there was no film to show on the television. And just so you guys know, And then we had to uh, do an old-fashioned, I'm sorry, just, just so you guys know, listening, that, uh, the Sacred Owls, Sacred Owls, aha, ah, yeah. uh -huh, I'm gonna it's get it, whatever. Sacred Owls. <laughs> They have a video 
and audio that goes along with the show. A lot of clips from, uh, like you said, um, all Planet, kinds of Planet stuff. Terror, yeah, right. horror movies that go Grindhouse you know, stuff. Uh, Grindhouse. We, we mix it. Uh, you know, my my goal creating these films for our sets, and then I also use them in our music videos, and we're coming out with the various DVDs and things uh, in, in the near future uh, that I'm working on now is that uh, I like to take the fiction uh, subtext and uh, garnishes if you will uh, visual garnishes you know like uh, film grains and you know b-roll and the and but all. when you say you don't have those that's the thing that we're talking about in any yeah. kind of like yeah I ideal I mean does that take away from your show uh, Does the, the vision or the idea of what it's you're a different to show. It really is because kind of that wasn't always there. The um, you know, that's uh, you know, like you know, I said. Show must go on, kind of. Thing. Yeah, we, we yeah. exactly. We started, you know, in 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 '08, and like you know, we had our first show in in, in 2009, and uh, I mean, for like the first seven eight years of this band, I mean, we were on hiatus for like three or four years. But like the first couple of years of this band, it, there there was none of that. It was it was actually a two piece in Miami. There was a drummer and me, and then uh, on records we had a couple of people coming in and out of the studios doing bass. Sometimes I'd do bass, uh, and then it was really just guitar bass. We had like lap steel on one song on the first EP, and it was. was I kind of want to hear that now. Like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I've heard you guys a couple of times. Yeah. Like, well, because Will really. uh, Will plays with you guys. Right? Yeah. Now Isn't now we have yeah. a stand up bass, which I've always wanted. Yeah. Is he consistent with you guys. Yeah. yeah he went on tour with us once and. Uh, you mean, know, he's he has a new baby, again. and obviously that's extra super important, yeah. and we are sensitive to that, but yeah, he's around. We still do yeah, play we'll shows as a two-piece right? yeah. from time to time, um, but you know, for the most part, it's us three, uh, you know, the majority of the I mean, time. not gonna lie, I mean, I saw them play without a bass player, and they had like the fucking computer fucking man type bass player thing that went off whatever you played. Yeah. Oh yeah, he got uh, an octaver and a loop stage. I literally I got, I got the both. No yeah, yeah. No, I literally was like, like I don't see the bass player. Yeah. <laughs> he's a ghost. He's yeah. magic. I'm like, I'm like, but it sounds like it's there. <laughs> yeah, it's like, man, that two piece sounds really That's cool. Yeah, I was, like, I, was like, I was like, son of a bitch, why do they do that? Can I get that guy? We were just yeah. talking about that, like other bands that have a full band on stage, but then like the keyboardist is off the side. Like, I think uh, Black Sabbath had that. We were like, <laughs> the on the side, like, we don't want to show the be honest, keyboard player. Not like, he's not very good looking. Like, if you yeah. don't have a guitar. <laughs> Yeah, you're not really cool. Yeah, <laughs> no, fuck that shit. You, you should have seen us. I love the creek store, show. Like I the love the dams. I like, want that organ front and center, no, motherfucker. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, saw, I want that shit. I saw one show where the guy had the keyboard right, and he had this like a spring type of thing where it was on his keyboard, uh -huh. and he was like, da -da 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 -da, and he just tossed the keyboard down, did a little turn, run around, <laughs> flew back up to him, caught it. Stop That's what I'm it. talking about. Played it, and I'm like. That's like the keyboarder's equivalent of like throwing the mic up and like. Dude, no, it was the first time I ever saw a keyboarder. I'm like, holy shit! I might want to be a keyboardist. On that note, whatever you do in life, do it better than everyone. Like, be creative about like, how can I take this to the next level? I don't care. Oh, you're the keyboard player. How can your creativity take you to the next level? Like, let's be honest. The keyboardist from fucking Bon Jovi's not going. What's up? I'm the keyboardist from Bon Jovi. I don't care if you're an accountant. Can you, like, be an accountant while you're parasailing, you know motherfucker? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be honest, I don't take it to the next level. level. We're all trying to better ourselves. Really. It took, to like, ten years for Foo Fighters to even acknowledge and give credit for their keyboardist. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rough. And Dave Grohl sounds like a really nice oh, guy. Yeah. No, no, Dave Grohl. Yeah. Yeah. Dave Grohl all around. Freak. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I so, don't know about that. Even my dad likes Dave Grohl. Dude, Dave Grohl, like, he's so mean to my dad, like, even him. Good for him. But it took, like, ten years. Should have been years. in the first place. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying this is, they really look at that guy, you're like, shit, I'm doing music totally wrong. Aww. And then you go, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but so, so you know, you know, Steven, you know, I Steven, mean, not for nothing, uh, if you're Stevie hanging out times, with the... Uh, Stevie three times is like, he, I was talking about Foo Fighters the other day, which comes back to our phenomenon thing, how they got their name. Do you guys know how Foo Fighters got their name? We're back. Da-da-da-da! Ba-ba-da-ba-ba-ba-da-da-ba-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
something or something trying to distract them or like uh, radar guns or something in the sky next to them in World War Two. Like Russian animals. And they were called the Foo. And that's how the Foo Fighters got their name. Back to the phenomenon thing. Which is kind of funny because he literally hates that name. Does he? he? Yeah. Oh no, he, 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 said, he, he said it more times than once. He's really like, out about if, it. I could, if I could have rethought about that fucking name, I would have not named it. And that's the thing. You can't, you, you can't just change your name mid-career. You I'll give you a good example. Uh, fucking, uh, like, Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> and, and then he made, like, Zwan. Yeah. And then immediately changed it to something. Like, it was called, like, Zwan something else. Like, he, or, or like uh, I feel like Phoenix TX, they like, were Phoenix, oh, and then they were Phoenix Texas, and then they were Phoenix Utah. TX. Like you can't just keep fucking changing your name, you know. You know, what, I like, think it's, it's a it's, tricky thing. That, oh, I'm sorry. It, it's a tricky good. thing because, like, you know, okay, let's take something like Smashing Pumpkins. Well, if you just take it out of context, like, oh, it's kind of a fucking weird name. But it didn't change their popularity. <laughs> exactly. Like, no, I, don't I think that shit. there was like a very few. They have to be easy to spell. That were like that, and no, not too like, many characters. Fine, you know? Oh, man, my favorite thing about names is this: is that honestly, it really fucking doesn't matter. No, it really doesn't. if you're a good band, you I mean, about, yeah, you're, you're a good this. example. You guys were Rushmore, and then you, then there was like, oh, of course, there's like 19 other Rushmores, and then you guys were Rushmore, Florida. Here's the fucking part of what this is. There was another incarnation. Here, here, here's the best part of what this is: is little we start off as Rushmore FL. We you did? No, yeah, we, we literally knew there was other Rushmores. So you I hate calling be... you Rushmore FL. Yeah, no, and that's, that's the thing. Other, <laughs> peop- other people, other fuck people, life. other Rushmore people, other 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 you will. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 Does it count if you're telling us? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, it's like on camera. Like, uh, I'm not lying if, I tell, if I'm telling you. I'm lying. I'm lying. I mean, oh, basically, there's actually oh. a. Sh- <laughs> there's there actually is. a street. <laughs> there's actually a street in. And the it was open beer. Thank uh, you. <laughs> in case you wanted to know. There's, there's actually a street called Rushmore FL. So like, really? Yeah. Rushmore we, FL, like with the FL. Yeah. Where what? Is, that? Yeah. is it in Florida? Oh, wait, why? Really it is in Florida. Okay, it's it's totally in Florida. But, what um, the fuck is that? We, we laughed about it because we, we tried not to, like, we're like, oh, yeah, that's a thing. Well, I was just talking about... Did you guys get a picture with it and everything? No, no, yeah. You gotta do Dude. that. Album cover. Like, oh, like, I play in the bloody drug band. We have like it's all. Oh, that's awesome. nice. By the way, yeah, it's oh, all. Like, I've heard of you. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh my God. You've been For a second, known, I thought man. you were serious. That's... I'm like, well, if she didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been with him. You're since doing it wrong, yeah. bloody know. jug <laughs> band. So they call it that. So it's like, how do you get promotion oh when your God. name is like labeled like bloody? But you do this all the other stuff. But I'm like, look. Kiss had their problems. Yeah, AC, like, they're like, they're like, <laughs> sorry. Whatever ACDC current uh, Antichrist Devil Child Kiss Knights and Satan Service. Like they didn't know. They're like, <laughs> they're just like, I want to kiss a girl. Like that's why they named it that. Everybody has to deal with names. I'm just thinking it's funny. It's exactly. Like, it's like one of those things you laugh. Look at that. Like, like, they call us like, scared how owls. Did that, how did, uh, we have to put in there a song. Yeah, have you heard of Elmobile? We have to put in a song yeah. where it's, it doesn't say scared owls. Learn how to spell. Like, that's in one of our yeah. songs now. Because it's like, oh I'm serious. I hear that shit. Scared like, owls. Okay. You're dyslexic. You, you, you are thing. dyslexic if we you say wait, scared wait, wait. owls. What if you were dyslexic? Fuck them. Oh my God. <laughs> then you're just being rude. Nothing against dyslexic people. You know. Yeah. Like, but how, do you, know, how do you guys come across? They're like, why did you guys choose your name? I didn't, again, 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she's like a, a new member. Time. She's yeah. been in this band for a little under three years. Yeah, let's call it that. Something. <laughs> I like the high voice. Seven months! Is this killing? 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 Is this to the Bohemian Grove. There it is. There it and, is. And uh, he pointed to his arm with a needle. That's right. <laughs> his needle finger. So to those of you that are listening to well, the MP3 of this. Is that the medical term? <laughs> <laughs> no drugs. But yeah, so uh, the Bohemian Grove is a secret society in Sonoma County, California. They've been uh, meeting since the 1800s, and uh, they have a 40-foot statue of an owl. And they have a cremation of care ceremony every second week of July. And uh, global elite come from all over the world 
to just blow off some steam for two months. Uh, no, two weeks. I'm sorry, two weeks. Uh, so <laughs> like two months. Two months. Holy shit. Whoa. Two, no, months. two weeks is a long time. Uh, you know? Eighty two months is two months, bro. No, it's okay. Their secretaries <laughs> love it. They don't have to do anything. I mean, they love it for other reasons. Every year. So like you know, you just have to work you know ten years to ten uh, ten months out of the year. And, no, but and, uh, they they have this like, cremation so of care ceremony to open up. Irrelevant. Yeah. Irrelevant. <laughs> I strike the motion. Oh. Oh. Uh, shit, I don't have anything. Is it, is it emotional emotion? Uh, emotional strike. So long story short, <laughs> uh, what what this uh, encampment is essentially is, is it's a bunch of rich dudes. It's guys only. Girls are not allowed. Uh, you can't even be an employee. And they yeah. had... Huh? Wasn't it a Bush thing? Like Alex Jones kind of... Like, uh, well, yeah, it's not a Bush or an Alex Jones thing. Alex Jones was the first person to sneak in with his crew... Uh, and also World of Wonder, which was from BBC. Uh, they actually got together, and uh, uh, Alex Jones made uh, Dark Secrets Inside of the Bohemian Grove, the documentary, and then BBC uh, World of Wonder made um, a, a one-hour uh, thing talking about... Their, their angle on it was more like, yes, there is an occult retreat, uh, Alex Jones is more of a fringe, this and that, but we were working with his team in order to gather intel and stuff, so it was kind of a mutual effort. Uh, and uh, the uh, the film and, and audio that you hear in uh, Rid Yourself of Care uh, and uh, Weaving Spiders also, uh, the sound clips we use, the video clips we use live is uh, from those documentaries. Uh, it's real footage of, uh, you know, world leaders, uh, members of the Council on Foreign Relations, the Bilderberg Group, the Trilateral Commission, all getting together, wearing robes, uh, and standing in front of this 40-foot owl and uh, burning an effigy of a child called the Cremation of Care in order to rid themselves of, of a conscience, essentially. Uh, which is really interesting because I, I'm now watching on, uh, on Netflix, I highly recommend it, I'm on issue uh, episode four, uh, I get home late, so I'm basically falling asleep to it. Like, yeah, it, it, <laughs> you're it, gonna hear oh, is great. It, 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 it's called <laughs> Occult Crimes. Uh, that's the name of the series. I've watched I'm just it. like having like, like yeah. when they came upon the bodies, there were three dead. Two of them. It's so much. This sense. is the yeah. shit I yeah. watch. You know? So actually, like you just, I come in and out of sleep, yeah. and all I hear is this. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? And I was just yeah. like, the cool. buzzer, she has to roll over and try to get up for work now, tomorrow. Thank you. Now, now, before you think I'm a complete dick. No, it's um, like, he's not. He's not. <laughs> her, her brother, I'm going to give a shout out, guys. Her brother uh, is actually uh, Ben Perman, and he's in uh, the, uh, the the hardcore band Feralux uh, from South Florida. And, uh, no bias. If, if, if you don't know, they're kind of a big deal. They're really awesome. They have a new album out. Go check them out, feralux.com. Uh, and, um, uh, but yeah, so, you know, she grew up by essentially listening to, like, scream, noise, hardcore, sledge, oh, yeah. when your brother demoing his own in a room and next door. Yeah, like, so she can sleep whatever. through a nuclear holocaust and, you know, and be like, oh, like, is everything all right? You know, I'm hearing only the vocals. It's great. Just, oh, my God. No, don't get me wrong. Like, I have a lot of appreciation that my brother's actually a very serious, like, halfway decent musician. So when you have to hear, when you have to hear, <laughs> nobody needs a big head, okay? She goes, I can't give him too much credit. No, it's, so I'm gonna belittle him. It's a exactly little. right. That's right. It's exactly right. Up, kind of. It's okay. I'll see. That's an NLP shit I'm talking and about. I'll get My band's better. And it'll be fine. <laughs> She's programming all of you right now. I, I honestly don't think that. But oh, anyway. <laughs> no! oh shit! I'll be real. It's fine. Oh. But, no, but here's where it comes in really great. I like Parallax. I don't listen to them. <laughs> oh. But. When your brother is thing. playing the same, like, my beady 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 beady. no, that wasn't it, beady 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 beady, like, <laughs> for like 30 million times while you're like, it's cool, I'm I got into 78, it's fine. I'm sorry, yeah. you, you just really uh, intimated every horror I have in being in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, the guy's like, just goes, yeah, it just wasn't perfect. Can you make it more crisp? Can you do You're going to love me in the studio. I'm like, uh, eighty percent next. Like I'm like, let's go. And then like, we're on the but clock I like here. My brother, but I'm not a good drummer, so I'm gonna try and do it. And then he's like, yeah, good enough. And I'm like, no, I can't. It's not. Like, if you sound better live, that's, like, that's a fine. good thing. It's fine. We're gonna move on. Exactly. Right? Exactly. exactly. I like. I like. Chris's idea goes. Listen, we need a shitty album. 
but live were fucking amazing. <laughs> if you're, if well, you're not even. shitty, but like 80% Love. good in the studio, right. and then you give them 93 like live, <laughs> what the fuck? You guys are I, amazing. I, I, I love how he picks the unperfect perfect number and he goes, oh. 93. Ish. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I, will, I will say this. Though, that's too good. I think 92, for, you're slacking. For me being yeah. such a new drummer, having to play to the videos was extremely helpful because. Visual you know, metronome. Like, fortunately, I've been told that I have pretty decent natural time anyway, and that's convenient. But then when you have to go into the studio and we're like, well, metronomes cost money and things, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, A, they don't, so, they're on a phone. She's like, she's yeah. not earpieces. Wait, why didn't well. we use that? Then? But no, they're no, annoying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I think just... Fuck that thing, We have right? a certain it makes me pattern, crazy. You know, it's just that, like, I, I know this is my cue in that video, and, like, yeah. if, if I got to hit it to that cue. So I think that just sort of instills a we don't do click tracks internal ever. metronome that was helpful when it came to recording. Now do I still like listen to a recording and be like, oh man, I totally rushed that part. Like, yeah, I do, <laughs> but I guess it's not as bad, maybe, kind of. Though. So I like that, honestly. I like it when like you're in the studio, no click track, no metrodome, and then like you, the drummers just go into a rhythm guitar track in her ear. Beer ninja. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, beer ninja. Excuse me, I had a little beer ninja stuck in my throat. But honestly, like like <laughs> Dead Kennedys, UK subs, all that stuff where like, uh, you know, swinging udders where like, it will just like, the tempo will just go up Eight percent, you know. Okay, so and then it slows back. That I love that. Here, here's the thing. You know, okay? that's so real. Here's this horrible moment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually. We usually, I usually don't talk about my band. <laughs> I'm usually okay. Things. My band. But um, <laughs> one of the bands. So yes, Lance from Rushmore uh, FL. What's up? Yeah. There it is. So we're in San Francisco. Cool. And uh, Jason from Sam I Am helped us book the show. Nice. Yeah, that's really nice. That's and, uh, amazing. I'm, yeah. I, 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 I befriended him like, at a fest. Sweetest man ever. Dude. I love this dude. Awesome. Right on. So me and Tyler are big Swing Yoders fans. So we were like, oh, this is great. Well, guess what? The singer from Swing Yoders is there with his wife at the show. What? Like the new one. Because they've had like four. No, no, no. The, Original, yeah, 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 yeah. oh shit, because he's not even in the band. The wife. Or did he come back? I don't <laughs> the, know. The singer, well, he's always been the same guy. Really? I thought yeah, they had a couple. He just got skinnier. Oh shit. He looks totally different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same guy. He was a skinhead, fat for a while. And yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's just straight. That's up. all the same guy. Yes, yeah, always the same guy. I gotta yeah. look into that. Yeah, he's he's, a, he's, he's always. He's, he's I thought he's always had this different singer. Yeah, no, no, no. Holy he's, shit, it's the same guy. And, and um, me and Tyler like. Ah, oh, oh, God, God. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Sorry yeah. for bringing Jameson in <laughs> shots for everybody. <laughs> You're there is that ninja right. moment. What right. a No, what an asshole. Ninja, we can't expect him to also be the Jameson ninja. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But no, He's like, the Jameson clumsy ninja. That's the name of your next project. It's Drunken Fist. There it like, is. Uh, uh, honestly, like, it was that moment. It's a weird moment where like, you have somebody who you idolize sure. watching you. That's amazing. Pressure. And like, you're like, and me and Tyler were like going, oh my God, I can't wait to Holy shit. That's so like, cool. And we were like, like, we're like, I haven't even had that moment. And we were like, we're hoping, like, all right, I wonder how many, I wonder you, how, have, I, you haven't played with a band that you've been a fan of? I've had, I've had it happen a couple times, which I feel like there's a couple bands that I really like to play with. Yeah, but they're always at the merch table while we're playing opening for them. You know what I'm true. saying? Like, I mean, I oh, dude, like no. standing no. there watching me? You know? I, I don't absolutely. think that's ever I, I, I can't even say this. I, I probably should not say this out loud. I'm not going to do it. You know what? I'm not going to say uh, it. You sure? Are you? Here's a shot. You're going to say it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what it is? It's Asian Orange. Okay. Okay. Man. Okay. Yeah. We played yeah. with them fucking twice. Yeah. Okay. They're good. Neither times that were ever fucking there to fucking see the opening band, which we were part of. Yeah, Maybe yeah. Maybe they had a scheduling thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure they had a weed thing. Where they smoked yeah. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. And okay, like, uh, like, <laughs> like. I love how Karen's literally going, I fucking love this. Movie. That's a good segue, though. No, honestly, I'm because. I'm glad entertaining somebody. That, that, that's a hot button issue. Uh, if I can entertain anybody at this fucking moment, it's Karen. Everybody's in a band now, so you know? Yeah, my favorite yeah. person in the world. And, like, everybody expects Fantastic. everybody to watch every minute of everything always. And, and I get that. And that's impossible. Yeah. And, and here's the thing with this is, I would have been okay Sacred with Owls is guilty of it. If we play shows with people and we were like, you yeah, we were getting high in the band, but, like, you know, if you want me to be a little high dealing with a lot of these people 
all the time because, like, if not, like, I, I get really neurotic. Right, okay, and, so what about, like, mind prep? Like, you have to prep yourself for the show. Like, I've done a lot of things. Like, prep yourself for a show. little you bit, be, you know? You want to be around nobody. You want to be around, around nobody. You got to, like, concentrate yeah, on the game show. Just because you're not watching anybody doesn't mean you're not paying attention, but you need to set yourself up to put on the best show you possibly can. It's the shot shot. I'm not saying yeah. the shot's happening, but the shot's totally You happened. did! Oh my god, it's so a stretch. Your attention to detail is fantastic. Thank you, oh. thank you. Yes, sir. Second time, okay. You know we played with you before. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, you know. it's you know it depends how yeah, much yeah, yeah. smoking. They, they still <laughs> the same thing. And I remember just making my face expression. They're old. I just laughed and I go, Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah I, I know. It, it's right. upsetting in the moment. And, the, and they're playing yeah, they're again. Old. And like, and like and we got, uh, we've gotten asked to play with them again. Well, I'm that, like, that's good. So it counts for something. Oh no, we said no to it because we laughed. We like we're like going, dude, you don't even care. You just wanted us because you think we bring people. You know what I say to that? You, you think know, we bring... Because you don't know. Because you don't know. <laughs> because you're because... wrong, first of all. Yeah. I love when people try to, like... They, they try to book Sacred Owls at Uncle Lou's on Tuesday night. You guys can play 1 a.m. You guys will bring a crowd draw. I'm like, you guys don't know us. Like, we don't. Like, <laughs> we don't. you know, if you want to see Sacred Owls, oh you can just come to our house and watch us. Like, it's that easy. Oh, speaking of which, can you, you tell know, me about like, your shows that you do at your house? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so Coffin's Print Shop Events, uh, coffinsprintshop.com forward slash events. Changed, by the way. That's right. <laughs> it, it's, I it do it on Instagram. Coffinsprintshop.com, coffinsprintshop.com, coffinsprintshop.com. And the chalkboard in our kitchen. And, 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 and it's com. coffinsprintshop.com. There it is. That's right. Um, if you would like to play at coffinsprintshop.com, you go to coffinsprintshop.com forward slash up. events forward slash booking. <laughs> and uh, we're going to edit the shit out of this fucking episode, by the way. That's right. Just so you know. 
Oh god, what's this gonna be? It, it's, it, it's just gonna be plugs. It's, it's yes. gonna be all plugs. There's not, there's not gonna be anything about the man. It's just gonna be Ferrolux and then. <laughs> <laughs> and then but yes. I don't do drugs. Hello, yeah. my name is Exit. So yeah, here's my 15 second ad. Coffin's Print Shop uh, makes t shirts, hoodies, button, uh, buttons. Uh, we, we order out for this. Uh, onesies. Uh, we, we, in house, we make CDs. We make cassette tapes now. Did you know that? We now make cassette tapes. That's a thing. Uh, and, uh, I, can't, I can't be a part of this. We make posters. And, uh, you know, and that's during the weekdays. On the weekends, we, we really let our hair back and open up the backstage, which is actually the Red Lion Pub stage, which is now closed. We, we took their stage. <laughs> And, uh, they knew though. They like gave it to us. Yeah, they, they gave just, it like, to us. No, no. <laughs> I they just, closed I just down. Like they're protected by this really awesome parachute. Yeah, that thing. You know what? That's right. do, credit where it's due. Because like, especially out. with like the we're on, we're on version three and, like, all that stuff. But like Captain Engineer over here had really done a, a pretty good job with that. So it's like Captain <laughs> Antonio, but Caption Engineer. <laughs> Caption Engineer. <laughs> Captain all engineer. of our shows are not captioned. I'm sorry, but I'll try and type them up if anyone wants them. But uh, yeah, we, we have shows and bonfires, and uh, our, our thing is... Uh, Talking about bonfires. We like to buy Roman candles. And that's still your and, picture, uh, which is awesome. Yeah, it's like... Uh, I was like, no, it's great. I love that that's still your picture. And he was like, of course, because it looks like he's the Terminator. You've seen the commercial, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. into that pool yeah. of molten. Just you, so you're you know, a star. You understand, like, we go on <laughs> tour, and it's like a minute and a half in, in the six-minute trailer before we start playing while we're setting up and stuff. Um, you know, it's like a bunch of B-roll and stuff, and then we show the coffins thing, so... You've been in like multiple states, like. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. The Lance hottest great. place Lance's, in town. Lance's like. profile picture is jumping through a giant fire, and he lived. He lived. He's here. He's here. He's talking to you. He did. Today. Story. That's so. the most epic piece of video. I mean, the best, the best part about this whole thing was. Christian literally found this fucking table in his neighborhood. Hey man, people leave all kinds of yeah, stuff like the, outside their houses. It's lots of furniture. There's plenty Christian of stuff might to burn in our hood. Technically live he got thanked, the... which is amazing. The neighbors are like, man, you're cleaning up the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. No, no, no. <laughs> he, he's burning the neighborhood. Put that on my tombstone. Slowly <laughs> as it goes along. And literally he grabs his table and he goes, oh, that's cool. Don't worry about it. We're just going to burn this shit. And I'm like, oh, all right, cool. So he starts burning his fucking table, which is fucking amazing to me. And I'm like, going, that's cool, whatever, you know, who, who cares, who needs it? And he starts burning. He jumps on the table first, and he's like standing up, and like, like literally, he's doing a fucking like fucking WWE fucking. He listened to. I don't even remember doing that. Oh, you got. You were like, you were like, idiot. I warmed it up. Oh, dude, no, no, you totally did, because you like, he literally jumps on the table and goes. What? I'm on a fiery table! Yeah. Oh, that yeah! Sounds about right. yeah. Like, and his yeah. arms up in the Fucking air. Him. He's like, whatever. He had just literally put the table on there, yeah. started the fire. It, it wasn't even weakened, it wasn't even anything. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So the fire's going for a hot second. And these motherfuckers are all fucking like, you should do it too. <laughs> do, it, do it, do it, I gave you a crazy eye like that? Do you, oh, yeah, you totally did. Uh, like, you're like, you're like, he goes, I was being summoned. <laughs> yeah, he goes, we're being drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what I call, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Snappy. Christian literally goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, you should get on the table too. Let's do this, buddy. And I'm like, going, I don't know, man. That fire does things. It's fire, but I'm like, we're outside. And then all of a sudden, Andrew, uh, my, uh, the drummer for fucking the caffeine, goes, should. I'm pretty sure Andrew should. Andrew Cabbage. Yeah. Andrew Cabbage is pretty much trying to kill me. I'm pretty sure that's the thing. He but got in me really in cool, interesting ways. Yeah, so, I mean, he got I me You're welcome, man. I feel like he's always regretted. You want to dial boring? You know? No, oh, no. Andrew's always regretted to put me in the ca the fucking band of the caffeines. And then he's like going, how can I kill this bitch? <laughs> like, right. literally, I feel like that's his thing. So they're like, jump it. I'm like, all right. You know what? I'm kind of drunk. Let's do this. Yeah. I did it. As I jumped on this fucking thing, I hit a pothole, so I fucking jumped on it awkwardly. Yeah. I hit the table. The table literally started going, fuck you. The legs were like, nope. <laughs> yeah. It breaks down, drops down. The buckle began. And, and that's when the embers, like, the, yeah, that yeah. photo is the that embers. So it's cool. like, literally, so good. Literally, my fucking Facebook thing is literally, it looks like either I'm either falling out of hell yeah. or yeah. into hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you jump on it and you just kind of like drop and your arms hey, go up. No, that's cool. Whoa. You can definitely see you so don't get your footing because you definitely go like, oh, oh fuck. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, dude, you like, see the video it's one of my favorite pieces uh, yeah. of B roll. Sometimes <laughs> I'm just going great. through my files and I'm like, oh yeah, that video. I just watch it over and over. Over, over. <laughs> and then the crowds the, respond. The, the, the slow yeah, motion like, is like this hard, like, 
Come on! <laughs> There's like 12 people watching and it's like... <laughs> it's so good. Uh, it's definitely a favorite moment of mine. Mm-hmm. Obviously, because it's on my main fucking video. And you didn't die. And I didn't and die. Didn't so win all the right. Not maimed or nothing. Solid. So come to Coffin's print shop and not get maimed or burned and die. Yeah, so, okay, so uh, uh, you should feel safe going there if you go to a show. We have Everything blood on the walls. We have foam padding on every on the on the back in the backyard. We have a red <laughs> rum. The pipes are wrapped in the bathroom. Styrofoam and bubble wrap. You've done that. That's fun. Wait, in your you room? won't I'll, get hurt. I'll yeah, in the bathroom it says red, red rum backwards and blood yeah. behind That's you. Not true. So when you look in the mirror <laughs> over your shoulder, it says red. Uh, it says murder. Oh, you know what? I actually no. have seen that. We got a gang of people that that's their like profile picture, which is kind of we tell people the hashtag it. Uh, Soto photo booth of doom. <laughs> Soto photo booth. because we're That's south what you of downtown. Them to do? It's Soto because we're <laughs> See, south not, of downtown. I'm gonna be honest with so you. So we're okay. the Soto photo I, booth of doom. I'm I so not involved. Like, that. like no, no. It's like okay. Here's she the thing. Like, are, are you saying that he is ninety? This is actually her crazy? house. Are she you, bought the house. Is he? And I run amok. Is he ninety percent of the crazy, and you are the sane? Or yes. Because last time, I remember, I remember we were talking outside of that show. We were wait, talking wait, about wait, Halloween. She keeps me saying. She chimed in and I've she was like, I've literally this, talked this to this movie. She is the mastermind. That's because I'm throwing I her under just the bus. a cornucopia like, of useless information come. stocked up in here. Here's, okay. I'm the one that has, like, the real job that I, like, go out and I have oh, to work. Oh, Coffin's like, print shop isn't a real <laughs> job. I don't make real things. You're going to do this here? <laughs> 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 No, no, no! It's like, it's, it's and cool. there it is, folks. <laughs> we have fun. The truth is, yeah. like, it's, it's just like she's like whatever. I fucking do the things. Yeah, right. I no, try she, to sleep while she, you listen to your weird shit. I'm she a has, doctor for fuck's sake. She has to That's go. our life, motherfucker. <laughs> no, seriously, Jim. <laughs> much respect. She has to. No, 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 no. It's cool. It's cool. Wake it's up cool. on at the at the dawn of death. She has to wake up before the sun it's comes up time. and go. To fucking a public school off of Ronald Reagan. Settle down. And I'm not with your children. <laughs> it's fine. Bleep, bleep. bleep. And Ronald, bleep. <laughs> That's right. Bleep. 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 Oh, he has to go and turn Ronald. Bleep. 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 I mean, I, here's there. the point. Here's the point. The point is. I kind of accept that, like, this is his baby, and that's awesome, and, like, it's fantastic, and I want all the success for you, but as far as, like, me standing out there, like, greeting people, like, I'll be there, and yeah, I'll be there, and so problem. I just let, like, I'm not on Facebook, like, I don't, like, I'm on it, no. but, like, if I check my Facebook once every three months, that's, like, that's a, that's a good week. <laughs> like, You're you know? not friends with Ariel so, Burial. You know, so it's, like... <laughs> No, and that's You're fine. You're not. There's, that's, that's totally fine. Is that what you try to friend her? Is she's going to say no. Ariel, yeah. Ariel Burial is her brand name. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. No, that, that's her name. That, yeah. I'm Christian Coffin. She's Ariel Burial. You get it. I get it. I fucking get it. I fucking get it. I'm literally right? really so happy there's a video right now because she did this. It's a thing. What? So I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. Like, I don't, I don't really do a lot of that like social media stuff, and it's like I'm not being like judgy about it. Like, whatever, if that's your thing, it's cool. It's just I don't typically go on there. Right. Because and by the way, I hate it too. I have to do it. But or right, else we're but not like successful. that's sort of his thing. So you I know, end up hearing you know about this kind of stuff like you know? super at the end of it all. So he like when he says like yeah if you just take a picture in her bathroom and hashtag Soto whatever you said <laughs> like I don't even know and it <laughs> so, doesn't mean anything you know no, it's no, just but, but I get it like that's part of yeah. the you know connecting in different ways like that's yes. totally fine I get it I just don't know about any of it so so <laughs> to bring it up we're all comic book fans here. Lance oh. is a huge comic book oh, fan. Fucking nerd. I am Fuck. a fucking huge comic fan. Yeah. Karen is a huge comic book fan. Yeah. Obviously, you guys are too, and we're all in the horror element. You guys just came out with an album connected to a comic book, right? That's right. Uh, so, I, I, I grew up I loving horror oh, anthologies, in particular uh, comics. And then, of course, the comics became films, you know, which influenced uh, the creation of... Uh, 
uh, you know, Creep Show one and two, for example. Dude, Fuck three, three doesn't exist. Who doesn't love that fucking weird fucking pond with the fucking little fucking wood fucking uh, all the fucking. platform? <laughs> oh, yeah. Where well, that one girl has the big titties and she fucking gets killed, but her face has the fucking goo on her face. Oh, that, that that's Creep Show two. That is uh, the no, um, I'm saying the blob. No, it's not the blob. It's the um, it's the black fucking it's crud. Yeah, that the, one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was a good one. Uh, you know, and, and we actually, uh, uh, you know, uh, Will Brack, which plays Double yes, Bass yes, in, yes. in our band, he's on earlier. Tales yes. of Terror 1. Um, he, Super you know, had a song called guy. Osceola yes, Wants His Head Back based on uh, Chief Osceola and how um, grave robbers <laughs> dug up his corpse <laughs> and using a knife <laughs> cut off his head and sold it to the highest bidder. And then whoever had Osceola's head was cursed. Did you know about that? Uh, a, a doctor in St. Augustine uh, bought, <laughs> bought the head, and he it, it was in a jar. He put it at the foot of his daughter's bed. That Pretty much exactly the lyrics. <laughs> that day, uh, you know, I'll, I'll pull up the comic. That day, um, mean that in a bad way. Like, his house actually so caught know. fire, yeah. and everyone died. You know, so um, he's opening up his new comic now uh, that he just gave to. That's King right. So you show. know, you have the great oh, robbers. You get to color a coloring book. Can if you want. That's right. Well, yeah. The uh, the. It's not gonna stop you. The the gyro jets like, two page spread like, Don't do that. is black and white. Um, you know, but uh, this but particular story, art. you know, so we're actually making a film out of Osceola once his head back. We're opening up Coffin Studios, and uh, we're gonna make a double feature. Uh, which is going to feature uh, Osceola wants his head back. Uh, it's going to be a um, uh, about a ninety minute film, three parts, you know, twenty minute segments of uh, the you know the grave robbing, cutting off the head, uh, the um, the doctor in Saint Augustine uh, hiding it in a jar for his daughters to see, and then the house catching fire, and then you know anybody after that, you know Osceola is going to come after you, this and that, and then uh, the purple. Uh, shout out to the Propel from Tampa, which uh, uh, did As Above, So Below, The Gray Man, uh, Jamie, and Scream House uh, on issue number one of Tales of Terror. Uh, they actually, th their first album, Revenge, is based on the concept that cows are going to, uh, you know, be fed up. Revolt. You know, I, you you know, know pun intended. Um and uh, yeah, and, and and they're they're going to take over the earth and make humans their slaves and milk women for their cow children to drink milk. And so what you're saying is men are okay. Yeah. Uh, it, it's <laughs> so women still I'm pay from the Wisconsin, price. I love Regardless milk, and I love scenario. women, so I don't really know how to that feel about so this. The cows will get all. It's not a moral thing. It's not a moral thing. I mean, I feel like this is not now, a now, okay. To be clear, well, like sacred owls, well, like the purple, like and and everybody else we associate with, like we all have, you know, we all have the same ideals for the most part, but like. The um, the the it's moral of the band <laughs> on some of these bands are more Please kind don't. of caricature and anecdotal <laughs> and okay. what the fuck is a propel? That is a secret, and you have to ask the propel directly, and so they will give. That's what I said. Invite them on the show. They will give you a different answer every time. They gave us a different answer a couple it's times. It's like the twenty seven thing, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you know, um, but like uh, at the end of the day, they're sweethearts. They're friends of ours. Yeah, um, Marky uh, illustrates all of the stuff that they do for Tales of Terror and the Purple and stuff, and uh, they just had a new baby. Yay! Um, uh, the Yay. the Purple baby is uh, weeks old. Now. It wasn't born purple. That sounds like a horror movie itself. The Purple baby. The Purple oh. baby. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and um, it looked healthy. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you know, they're, they're healthy kids. It wasn't you know, blue. Because they drink a lot of milk. No, I'm just kidding. That's nothing oh. to do with it. Oh. Oh. What? I'm the asshole now. I'm the asshole now. Oh. <laughs> but, uh... Ow. No, but, no, so... Kidding. Anyways. I key, I key. Long story short, um, expect in 2019 or 2020, uh, Coffin Studios is going to be coming out with a Grindhouse double feature of Tales of Terror's Osceola Wants His Head Back and Revenge, where the cows come back and, and, and kill you. And uh, we, we want to do more films. Uh, I'm going to do a series on Conspiracy of Silence eventually. It's a really touchy subject involving, 
you know, sadistic murder and sex of, of, of children uh, from, you know, global elite and stuff like that. So it has to be, I, I, I literally lamented uh, for about four months making this comic book, uh, you know, which was just four pages on how I would uh, show the Paul Benassi story, which if you guys don't know, Paul Benassi was a victim of uh, abuse uh, from uh, Boys Town, Nebraska, run by the Vatican. And then uh, Larry, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, fucking, yeah, Larry, uh, Lawrence King, not Larry King from the, the you know, from television. <laughs> not a, that guy. Wait, wait, wait. A different I'm pretty sure I'm okay with my head, head right now. Right. A different you know, it makes sense. Who knows oh, what that Lord. guy is up to, but, but Lawrence, Lawrence King is Lawrence actually King. a yeah, African American Republican back in the 1980s in Nebraska, and he ran a bank uh, in Boys Town, Nebraska, and used that bank as a hub uh, for human trafficking of children. It's a big fucking deal. Like, this is a serious fucking so thing. So he's a shithead, too. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, I agree with you. You know, so <laughs> some people nowadays apparently think pedophilia is cool and hip and shit. You know, according to my Facebook, which <laughs> it's not, you know. Oh, that's I, so wrong. It's, if you're 40 and you date a 16-year-old, I'm going like, to slit your throat for the record. Karen, you know? I'm so sorry. I love you, but, you know, your hero kind of sucks. Stop. So anyway, um, yeah, Lawrence King actually trafficked in these shit. children. So Paul Benassi, he actually testified, uh, you know, in the Supreme Court that um, these guys picked him up, took him from Epley Airfields in Omaha, Nebraska, took him to uh, Denver Airport and picked up another child. At that point, you know, this is a private, you know, small jet, uh, took him over to, uh, to Las Vegas, Nevada, Picked up a Hunter Thompson to film the ordeal. And then, what? yeah, I, this is 1988. He was 13 years old. Hunter S. Thompson wasn't even like a household name at that point. And so at that point, they then go to uh, the Sacramento airport where they take two white limos and go an hour out to a place with really tall redwood trees where men in robes were engaged in ceremonies. California? Exactly. If you, if you actually Google... Think? The Sacramento Airport to Bohemian Grove, it's about an hour and three minutes, give or take, depending on traffic. So, I mean... Which in L.A. can be a bitch, am I right? Am, <laughs> am I right? right? <laughs> am I right? Am I right? That traffic shit. So, uh, at that point, you know, at We're gunpoint, right they make the kid have sex with the other kid and do a bunch of shit. And then they blow the kid's head off and then make him continue to have sex with this dead child. Uh, you know, and stuff like that. I mean, it, it gets really gritty. The full, you know, uncensored testimony is word for word on the first four pages of this comic book. And I made it a this point. This is in the comic book? That's right. <laughs> Kira's like, what? I was happy about this comic book. Not only book. is I it... I was all excited. And now I, know it's it's called, I know it's called a comic, but... I know it's called a comic, but... Nobody's <laughs> laughing, motherfucker. Are there bloody buttholes? I don't want no. to. No, 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 no. He was very tasteful. Th that's the thing. I, I, You know, I wanted, because I was like, how am I going to make this into a graphic no, novel? So, so, how am I going to so actually, horrible. you I mean, know. Where's literally when you say graphic novel? Right. Sure. So, a, as you can see, novel. here, here's the pages right here. And as you can all, see, like, there, the there's a postcard from Boys Town. There's a picture of, of Lawrence King on a television. And then I actually made a map of, you know, while he's talking about this happened and this happened, we went here and there. And it all checks out according to Google Maps. I mean, it's like, it, his story makes sense as a 13-year-old in 88. With, with By the way, there was no internet. There was no way for him to, like, you know, concoct a lie about all of these locations and people and what was going on, which is really, uh, like, the, the map of this story is the most compelling point for me. Everything else is terrifying, you know, but, I mean, as you can see, like... <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry I laugh at terrifying, no, but it, that's just my nature. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, it is what it is. You're like, it's terrifying, yeah. you're like, oh, that's how I deal with it. I mean, no, no, like, I mean, uh, we, we've definitely... Gallows humor, man, yeah. you, you gotta survive, you know, you gotta be able to be like, yeah, that's fucked up. And be able to, like, maybe crack a joke about it and be like, all right, that was fucked up. And be like, all right, move on. Because at the end of the day, the way, I'm not religious at all. But if I was religious, I would call this God's work, man. I would call this, like, if you take a victim's testimony that, by the way, 
the Supreme Court and a lot of people said, ah, you're full of shit. Those people would never do this. That's victim shaming, guys. I'm sorry. If, if someone is a victim of rape and murder, uh, you know, witnessing, being a part of, you know, you are now, you are now a fucking monster if you're going to be like, that didn't happen to you. You're lying. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I believe that I believe them until I have proof that it didn't happen. You know, everyone ha you know, I have to have proof it did happen. I if, if a child tells me something, it's true until I can prove it wrong. And, and you know, and the reason why I do that is because it seems that law enforcement nationally, globally does the opposite. And the more I research them and who is involved in government and, and corporations, it's a bunch of fucking pedophiles. It's a bunch of fucking predatory cunts that, you know, they, 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 they prey on children and people that are weaker than them. And frankly, I'm sick of it. And well, that's I mean, what Sacred Owls is all about. Unfortunately, that's what power is about. That's not. I'm what? more powerful than all of them. If you put me in a room with any of these fucking cuck pedophiles... Right, 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 I'm saying... I will fucking destroy them. I will pull their throats out and fucking show it to the cameras. Well, they'll never give you the platform. You know, give it to me, and I will fucking give it to you. Right. You know, whereas these guys... Like, the point is, power doesn't have to be that way. You know, no, there's, plenty, there's been plenty of people in history who were absolutely peaceful people that were able to accomplish things. It doesn't have to be that way. Yes. Yeah. So for people to build their throne of power on hurting other individuals who are more or less defenseless, like, that's ridiculous. There's no need for that. Exactly. And, and for the record, Sacred Owls is a peaceful protest ban ex exercising the First Amendment. You great know, peaceful show, fucking moving. It's a great show to see. I expect all of you guys to go you. and watch that. Thank and you. I really nobody got hurt at our show. Nobody got hurt. <laughs> Never. Nobody heard the Whenever, show. Uh, we if will stop hear... immediately if someone's like getting hurt or something. Yeah. It happens from time you to time. Voices, in the pen, you have visuals, we but stop. it's all to make you feel a thing. They put on a great show. Um, We're trying to trigger you. And, and really, at the end a good of the day, way, at, you know? at, least, at least from my perspective, but we've definitely discussed this before, that like, I don't pretend to have all the answers, like I said. No, you know, me neither. I, it's very difficult to, you know, it, it's ironic in this quote-unquote information age that there's such this, you know, so-called overabundance of different perspectives, different point of views, different people saying that they have answers to this and that. And you know what? That's great, but it's a double-edged sword. So ask questions. Man, you don't believe certain things? Cool. Research it yourself. Yes. Don't don't just say like, well, what had happened was I heard this thing on the radio. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. And like, this yeah. is kind of a radio, so no offense. <laughs> but like, yeah. but no, for <laughs> well, real though, for real. And no, by the way. Is, it's more of a jumping off point. Like yes. if you disagree, man, that's awesome. That's totally fine. Go do your own research. Find some answers. That's exactly. And, and with that being said, uh, sacredowls.com, our website, I am, you know, of course, with an open source intelligence background, this is not just a punk band. This is a actual uh, activist project where everything that we say in any song that you're like, fake news, that didn't happen. Yes, it did. Or else I wouldn't put it in a song, period. You know, if I'm a little wishy-washy or like, ah, it seems a little vague, I don't know, doesn't make the cut. And there's a lot of shit that doesn't. The stuff that makes it onto like inside job... You know, 9-11 was an inside job. 7-7, inside job. Gulf of Tonkin, you know, the list goes on in the, in the lyrics of inside job on government-sponsored terrorism. And we have, if you, if you Google any of the lyrics uh, in that song, on, I mean, not Google, if you actually search on sacredowls.com, we have an article specifically about that one point with, you know, PDF downloads and where do those PDFs come from? They come from the Department of Defense. They're declassified. You know, they come from the CIA, FBI. And granted, of course, you know, oh, well, those are the guys you're saying are lying about everything. Yes, but at the same time, these are the archives of, you know, what we call the United States of America's, you know, federal government, you know, which has different branches of government in order to have checks and balances, in order to maintain a truth amongst one another so for them to put out a press release or declassify something all branches of the u.s government essentially have to have an understanding of you know what that is and you know agree for it to be declassified or whatever you know and then some of the stuff is from wikileaks uh, some of it is leaked 
from uh, you know leakers within the, the the movement, you know, and and that stuff, you know, you have to kind of take with a you know grain of salt. Unfortunately, you know, the information war is not clean. Right. It's not black and white. It's not you know oh well like this is definitely true. Nothing is definitely true. Just because you read a document, just because you read a testimony, were they lying? Were they under the influence? Were they being swayed one way or another? And that's what it comes down to. So I think that do your own research and keep doing your own research. I think that perfectly wraps up what we're talking about tonight. Phenomenon. Real horrors. Making themselves into fake horrors. And it scares ourselves. And be it the monster, the slenderman that becomes the pedophile, the wolf man who eats a body, the thing that becomes this, the creature from the Black Lagoon that was a man in the water that killed a child. Like, we don't know who that is, and we don't know what it is, when it creates our own scares inside of us. Um, we all have to deal with that every day. And, you know, some of us like to believe that these scares are not real, and guess what, but they are. So, we try to keep it lighthearted. We try to make sure that, hey, keep fighting the good fight, but, hey, let's make sure that we all keep it in the lightest sense possible, and we understand that we create art to get rid of the bad stuff. We, That's what we're we, doing. We make, yeah. we make jokes and make lightheartedness. We make music out of the horribleness in life because we have to find a way to cope with it. Yeah. Um, I think there's no other way to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that uh, I and loved having you guys on the show today. Uh, this was Christian, great. Ariel, yeah, right. I love. I, I think we nailed here. all of the points that were important at this moment. It's important to me. It's important to you guys. We love having you guys on the show. I think that uh, everybody su- comes to your guys' the show, uh, Sacred Owls. Um, if they have seen a, a Sacred Owls show. You probably obviously don't give a shit about things. They don't. You don't give a shit. <laughs> they have a video show. It's it's audio. It's visual. It's fucking everything you would want. Karen Stevenson, thank you again for recording us in the studio today. And hosting. Yay. What a wonderful yeah, house you have. Yeah. Yeah. Karen's our favorite person in the world. I only just met her, but she seems to love No. Me. I'm just going to start hanging out here. Yeah, dude, yeah. seriously. That's fine. Her, her life is fucking awesome, and I only wish I could be a little bit like her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm right. just saying. She's like fucking pretty much the fucking basis All of my All the truths. Again, the my, name, again <laughs> my name is Dakota. I'm Lance. <laughs> That's Karen. That's the perfect moment for Karen. That's Michael Jackson. <laughs> Thank you for listening Cousine. to the show. This is Creative Evil. <laughs> this is. is <laughs> Thank you again for listening. This is Creative Evil. Thanks Enjoy. for coming back to our fucking bullshit. Thank you. Thank Cheers, you all. Woo! Woo! <laughs> We're probably gonna drink more after you leave. Yeah, I gotta pee. That's right. Oh, so I gotta pee too. I. Go break the seal. We're just all gonna like point our respective tools at the toilet wherever we can. That's cool. I'll try it out. And, and, and crossing the streams is okay because it's I'll just try. pee. Right? I mean, technically, it's, it's I will not give electric. You the old college it's just